Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the integers n, x, and y, where n represents the total number of seats in a bus, and x represents the seats in each row and y represents the number of seats book and then these y integers will represent the book seats number in the bus now the program is print full if all seats are booked in the bus and else the program is print the number of seats booked in each row so as the output so first we are going to accept n x y integers as the input where n represents the total number of seats in a bus and x represents the seats in each row and y represents the number of seats booked and then we have to get y integers representing the book seats numbers and we have to print full if all seats are booked and else we have to print the number of seats booked in each row as the output now we'll take our first test case so in this test case we have total number of seats 20 and uh, number of seats booked to be 8 since they are not equal we have to print the number of seats booked in each row as the output so here we have x as 5 that is seats in each row is 5 so we'll arrange them like this the seats will be in this order that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and so in this way the seats have been arranged so the 20 seats will be in this particular order with 5 in each row and now we are going to check whether the seat is booked or not that is it is present in y integers or not so you can see 2 is not present 3 is not present, 4 is not present and you can see that 5 is present in the y integers. So since 5 is booked seat, we have 1 seat booked in the first row and then we will check for the second row, we have 6, 7, 9 10 so we have four seats booked in the second row and then in the third row we have 13 so we have two and then in the fourth row we have 17 and 
we have only 17 so we have one seats booked in the fourth row so now we have one four two one that is the seats booked in each row so this will be our output now we'll take our another test case so in this test case we can see that the total number of seats in the bus is equal to equal to the number of seats booked that is n equal to equal to y so we are going to print full as the output as all seats have been booked in the bus so full will be our output let us implement our program first we'll get the integers n x y as the input and then we'll get the list of y integers that is the seats booked as the input as a list and then we'll check our condition that is if all seats are booked that is total number of seats is equal to equal to the seats booked means that is if n is equal to equal to y means we are going to print full as the output and in the else part we have a variable called current row count equal to zero and then we have to iterate over up to n that is for seat num in range 1 to n plus 1 and here we are going to check that is if the seat num in booked seats then we are going to increment the current row count by 1 and then if the seat num mod x is equal to equal to 0 means that is when the current row count reaches the end that is for example if we have 5 seats in a row means that is 1 2 3 4 5 so after this when this comes we have to move to the second row right so for that the current count after this first row should become 0 so we'll print the current count first and then current count will be initialized again to 0 for the next rows now let us execute our program we'll pass our first test case so you have got the correct output now we'll pass our second test case and here n equal to equal to y so we have got full as the output as all seats have been booked our program has passed all our given test cases successfully hope you guys understand thanks for watching see you next video